And that leads me to a final thought tonight, and that is the issue of tolerance. I want to address tolerance for a moment. Here is going to be the major attacks against you personally. You are, if you are a Bible-believing Christian and you let that be known, you are branded as a hater and as an intolerant person, unacceptable in polite, in polite company. So let's, let's, let's just discuss in conclusion about what we're talking about with tolerance. Tolerance, the word tolerance, implies there must be a difference, does it not? Would you talk about tolerance if there wasn't a difference? You only bring up the topic of tolerance when there's a difference of some sort. So the very idea we're talking about tolerance, see, they, they don't even know the word tolerance means. If we are talking tolerance, that automatically implies there's a difference. So if I differ from you, what's your problem? Tolerance means you accept the differences. Well, that's not what I really meant by tolerance. I meant being nice. Well, that's not the word tolerance. Tolerance requires a difference in order to generate the issue of tolerance. Tolerance presupposes a difference. Okay, that's the first point. Second point is, there are three areas that are involved in tolerance issues. And it depends on which of these three areas you're talking about. Number one, people. Do we tolerate people, different kinds of people? That's the first area of tolerance. Now, what's the Christian answer to that? No matter what the person says, believes, or behaves, do we tolerate them as people in the sense of respect them? Of course. Why? Because they're made in God's image. There but for the grace of God go I. So I tolerate people as people. But there are two other areas involved in tolerance. Tolerance of beliefs of people. Now, if we have to tolerate beliefs, it means we have at least two different beliefs that are in conflict. So the issue then of tolerance, do are we tolerate as Christians, do we tolerate different beliefs? Can we tolerate all different beliefs? No. In 1 John, what does John say? Test the spirits, brethren, whether they are of God. And hereby you know the spirit of truth. The spirit of truth is one who confesses that Jesus is the Christ. The spirit who does not confess that Jesus is the Christ is the spirit of Antichrist. John is not telling us to be tolerant of the belief system. We can be tolerant of the people but we do not have to be tolerant and we cannot be tolerant of all beliefs. Okay, there's a third area, behavior. Do we tolerate all kinds of behavior or not? Societies have to draw a line in behavior. They always draw a line in behavior. I mean, after all, is Boston gonna draw a line on kids that make uh, pressure cooker bombs? We better believe they do. That's an intolerated behavior. So when we talk about tolerance, there's three questions you need to ask in the conversation. And of course, most people are too busy or too lazy to engage you on this. But you might just, in a friendly sense, say, well, wait a minute, I, I know I hear you, I hear you. You're talking about tolerance. But are, are you talking about, I should tolerate this person? I should tolerate this person's beliefs? Or I should tolerate this person's behavior? 95% of the people never even thought about that. They've just gone along with the knee-jerk reaction that I'm going to be tolerant. Well, tolerant of what? What are you tolerant of? What are you asking me to be tolerant of? So I hope I've clarified the, at least four points to help you in your conversations with, with people in the society at large. Tolerance implies a difference of something. It could imply a difference of belief, a difference of behavior or uh, you know the difference racially or something so it's a, a difference of racial type or ethnic type a difference of beliefs of those people or a difference in their behaviors so in the New Testament we're going to come now to Jesus and we're going to watch how he deals with the issue of tolerance in the Jewish community 
we're going to watch how the apostles deal with tolerance in a Gentile and Jewish community. And then let's just see how the Bible handles this issue of tolerance.